It's official. Tottenham Hotspur have signed their seventh player of the summer transfer window. Destiny Udogi has signed on a five-year deal. He has been loaned back to Italian side Udinese. Giovanni Lo Celso has been talking about his loan move to Villarreal and has come out and said, I feel happy to be here again. And Harry Kane has been talking about the Chelsea game and said the boss knows that we can be better and we know we can be better. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping well. This is another edition of Tottenham News, where I'll be going through all of the latest Spurs news, rumours and reports. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button. If you're listening to this on an audio platform, please do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. Now, just before I get into it, please do download the OneFootball app for all of the live football scores, results and news, as well as getting all of the latest Spurs news on this channel. You can also see it all here. So download the OneFootball app today. It is absolutely free. The link is in the description. You can keep up to date with everything Tottenham Hotspur, club news, transfer news, information videos, tables and results. Also, you can now stream matches on the app and watch video highlights in addition to general football news. Don't miss out. Now let's start with some good news. Tottenham Hotspur have their seventh summer signing of the transfer window. Now on Tuesday evening, Tottenham Hotspur Football Club released the following statement. We are delighted to announce the permanent signing of Destiny Udogi from Udinese. The defender has agreed a deal that will run until 2027 and will return to the Serie A side on loan for the remainder of the 2022-2023 season. Having progressed through the ranks at Verona, Destiny Udogi made his professional debut in November 2020. The following year, he joined Udinese on loan, a deal which turned permanent in July 2022. And his debut season with the Italian side, he made 37 appearances in all competitions, scoring five goals. An Italy under-21 international, Destiny Udogi made his debut for his country in September 2021 in a European Championship qualifying fixture against Luxembourg. He has four caps to his name to date. Now talking about him signing for Tottenham, Destiny Udogi came out and said, it was an easy choice for me. I'm proud to join a top club like Tottenham. It's a dream for me to join a top club like Spurs. It was an easy choice as they have Antonio Conte, a really top manager. Shortly after Tottenham's official announcement, Italian journalist and transfer expert Fabrizio Romano tweeted the following. Official and confirmed, Destiny Udogi joins Tottenham Hotspur from Udinese on a five-year deal. Full agreement completed days ago and now signed. Fee, uh, around 18 million euros plus add-ons. Sky Sports are also reporting on this story and they are stating that Spurs have just completed a deal with Udinese to sign their promising left wing back Destiny Udogi. Spurs will pay an initial £15 million and there are also some performance related bonuses on top. Udogi will stay on loan at Udinese for the season with Tottenham having Ryan Cessna and Ivan Perisic as their left wing backs for this term. Now, in the last 48 hours, it was confirmed that Giovanni Lo Celso has rejoined Villarreal on loan for the rest of this season. Talking to the Villarreal official website, Giovanni Lo Celso said, I'm very happy to be here again. It was a bit of a long wait, but it was worth it. I left with the clear idea that I wanted to come back because it's a club that I like for its philosophy, for the objectives it sets itself and for the way I was welcomed from the first day, making me feel as if I'd been here for a very long time. It was a long negotiation, but I'm grateful for the trust, patience, support and effort that the club made for a long time. It was not an easy thing for either side. Personally, I was always hopeful and focused on being as physically fit as possible to be ready when the time came. Lo Celso also added, I feel good physically. I've been training hard, so I feel good. From the beginning, my objective has always been to be mentally and physically fit. Whether or not I play on Thursday is the coach's decision, but I feel good and ready.
Now, of course, in our last Premier League game, we drew 2-2 at Stamford Bridge against London rivals at Chelsea. While Harry Kane, who grabbed Tottenham's equaliser in the 96th minute, said the following. The character has been good and this shows good passion and determination to go again and get another equaliser. At 1-1, emotions were high. I thought we could have controlled things better. We got a bit sloppy in our shape and we were also wide open for their second goal. We need to improve on that. As a team, we're working every day to improve. We will watch this one back as a team this week and see what we can get better at. But whenever you score and equalise it in a big game like this, at the end, it gives us a nice feeling walking away. It's not time to get carried away for sure, but we had a terrible record against Chelsea last season. So to come here and get a point it is not what we wanted before the game. But as the game wore on, I think that we will be the happier team for sure. There is still a lot to improve on. We're working hard. The manager has his ideas and we're working every week to implement them. Uh, he knows that we can be better. We know that we can be better. And that's what we've got to try to do. And lastly, the third round of fixtures in the Premier League is just days away. Tottenham Hotspur will next be in action on Saturday, 12.30 kickoff, as we will be hosting Wolverhampton Wanderers at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Uh, five other games will take place on Saturday. Crystal Palace will take on Aston Villa. Everton will take on Nottingham Forest. Fulham will take on Brentford. Leicester will take on Southampton. And Bournemouth will play our North London rivals, Arsenal. On Sunday, three games will take place. Leeds will face Chelsea. West Ham against Brighton. Newcastle will take on Manchester. Manchester City and then the Monday night game Manchester United will take on Liverpool. Now, my thoughts on these stories in this episode. Uh, welcome, Destiny Udogi. He becomes Tottenham's seventh signing of this summer transfer window. What a summer transfer window it has been for us. Seven players in. Um, he has been loaned back, straight back to Udinese, uh, getting some great experience in Syria out with the Italian club. A five-year deal. Um, this is a great signing. He is one of the stars for the future. Everybody is raving about him. And Tottenham Hotspur are thinking about the future. So a fantastic signing for me. Now, I've spoken at length about Giovanni Lo Celso in many episodes um, of Tottenham News. Um, I wish him all of the very best. Hopefully, he will have an outstanding season for Villarreal. And then, um, you know, either them or another club will come in and buy him on a permanent deal rather than a loan. But as I've said before, Lo Celso going out on loan. Tongi on Dombele, you know, that hasn't been confirmed to Napoli as yet. Uh, but him going out on loan in this transfer window will be good business for Spurs because those clubs will... Uh, take care of the majority of their wages and uh, and rightly so so wishing them too in particular all of the very best we're now waiting for the likes of Harry Winks and Sergio Regulon to go out the door because they are clearly not in Antonio Conte's plans now, Harry Kane's comments, I couldn't agree more with what Harry Kane said after the game um, against Chelsea. The boss knows that we can be better and we know that we can be better. And of course, us fans, we know that we can be better as well. Um, you know, but as I keep saying on this channel, um, I am excited about the future. Um, how many times over the years have we gone to Stamford Bridge and got absolutely battered um, in parts of that game um, on Sunday at Stamford Bridge? Chelsea were far the better team, uh, but we showed real character, grit, determination to come back uh, and get that equaliser. And, you know, so many years we have come away from Stamford Bridge with absolutely nothing. So, you know, to come, come away from, with a point uh, and come away with that feeling of we've rescued the game, uh, having been behind twice, is a good feeling. And I completely understand what Harry Kane means. Um, getting back to action on Saturday against Wolves. I'm really looking forward to this one and expecting three points again. Uh, and I'm sure that every single Spurs player and Antonio Conte is expecting three points um, on Saturday. And I'm expecting a good performance as well. So really, really looking forward to it. Now, thanks for watching and thanks for listening. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button. And if you're listening to this on an audio platform, please do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. I'll see you on the next one. Until then, come on, you Spurs.